Welcome guys, this is the first tutorial of a, of a brief series of small tutorial where I will not be explaining concepts in general, but I will show you I will be showing you how to do something or install a tool or something like this. So in this case, I will show you what to do after installing Ubuntu on your machine. And this is the steps you require in order to make everything work for the modern C++ course 2020 edition. So this is the welcome screen you will see on your Ubuntu machine. And I just want to make uh, a comment right now. I will not recommend you, uh, recommend you to use virtual machines uh, because there are many reasons of why don't, I mean, you should not be using virtual machines. If you really want to know that those reasons, just write to me and I will give you the, the, the reasons. So you will go to Firefox after you, you went through the welcome steps. And then here you will search for IGG, GitLab, PON. And then the first link that is the GitLab server you will be using for the homeworks, you will hit that link. And then I will ask you that if you don't have any user, just register here with your Unibon account. And then I will log in into my user. So remember, this is the, a tutorial on what to install in order to make stuff work. So I made a wiki that you will have access on teaching and mass hub tools. And I will recommend you to go through this wiki and see all the steps I write down uh, to follow. In this tutorial, we will be just running the commands. So just copy this and then open a terminal. Just go to activities and then type terminal. And then just copy this command. Essential. Yeah, there is a typo there. Just keep, hit Y. And this will install Git, uh, make, CMake, CBP check, some tools we will be using on, the, on this course. So go ahead and install those tools. It will take some time. And then the next thing you want to do is to download this script that is called install LLVM toolchain. You can just right click and do, uh, you know, just, just click on it. And then this will open you a script. You just, you can just save this file hitting control S and then you will download the script. Let's open the terminal. So, okay, we already installed everything here and then we will go to downloads where we just downloaded our script. So the script is there. In order to run this, you will need to add executable permissions. So just do that. And then now you just run this script. This will install uh, a new tool chain we are using this year that is based on LLVM. And instead of using the traditional Shi GNU GCC compiler, uh, we'll be using Clang tools, and you will see why this is a good idea probably in three or four weeks. So you don't really need this step to start working on how to build C++ code, but it's highly recommended because this will integrate a lot of feedback tools we'll be using in the future to your text editor. Okay, after you install the tools, you will need a modern text editor. You can use wherever you want. I would recommend you to use Visual Studio Code um, because this is the one I use. And of course, I can help you better if you use the same tools we all use. So it's almost done. And in order to install Visual Studio Code on Linux, it's super, super easy. You just need to run this command on a terminal and this will install Visual Studio Code on your machine. So we can open another terminal while we wait for this, because it's going to take a while probably, and just trying to install Visual Studio Code. Mm. 
if you want to see what this the script is doing the one that install the tool change just open the script and make sure if you don't understand something that you want to understand just send me an email talk to me on the discord channel and i will try to explain you the best i can so we're almost there this is taking a while because i'm currently in argentina and the internet connection here is really really slow so but let's wait for one second you can fast forward now this video to the part where all this stuff ends okay now we have Visual Studio Code installed this is super easy and this is all the stuff you need to do to install a program so if you probably if you search for instructions for how, how to do this on Windows or Mac OS, you will probably need to go to a web page, download something, do something. This is super easy in Linux. Just sudo snap install code. That's all you need to know. Okay, so this is almost done. So up, okay, done. So right now you should check that you install these tools properly. And in order to do that, you will do C++ and then you will type dash dash version. And this will tell you, okay, you're using Clang version 10. This is the compiler and the toolchain itself we will be using for this class. So you're all set. The only thing you might want to do right now is to install some extensions for the text editor. I made, uh, I made a summary here. Let's close this. But also if you don't want to like install all the extensions manually, you can go ahead and use this script. Okay, this is really slow. By the way, I'm using a virtual machine to show you how you will do it on your computer. And this is one of the reasons why this is super slow. So if you, if you want to go for a virtual machine, go ahead, but you will struggle like I am struggling right now. So. <sighs> okay, so we already installed Git, the build essentials, CMake, make we have our text editor the last step we are missing is to install some extensions and this is the stuff that wasn't working so you can go ahead and install these extensions but i also provide here a script so to do it for you so in this case you will do the same just control s to save the file and then we open a terminal again you go to downloads And then again, we will give permissions and then we will install VS Code extensions. So this will download and start in, and install some extensions uh, for your Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code installation. This includes stuff like the C++ extension, some linters. This is like bare minimum stuff you will need. Uh, and a lead pack in, if we need to chat and code at the same time for any sort of question. And then the last thing you will do is you need to copy these lines to your Visual Studio Code configuration. So let's copy this. And this is to make everything work properly. So now we will wait two minutes until we end uh, installing the extensions. Of course, you can fast forward to the, the part where we, are, we end up this. Again, if you want, you can use 
virtual machines, but then in the future you will most likely struggle because you will need to use Linux for other courses, for your thesis, for the master project, for whatever. So please make sure you, you spend some time trying to install Linux on your machine. Okay, so that, that is it. So now we will go to our home directory and let's create test setup directory. We will go into this directory and then we will hit code and then dot. This will open the text editor on this particular folder. So this is the text editor. You will see a lot of stuff. Right now to finish your setup, you need to go to, to the settings. So you can hit control comma. And then here you will see this open setting JSON, and this is a, your particular configuration. You will copy the lines I give to you. I will make this bigger. And then you're all set. Let's try one thing. So let's create a new file. And then let's call this main.cpp. This, is, this step is completely optional. This is just to make sure that you have everything in place. IO stream, and then you will do main, then hello world. You can open a terminal here. Let's close this and then let's do C++ and then main. This will compile and then you will have an executable and that's, that is it guys. Okay, so I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this video. Try to subscribe to this channel so you can get not notifications whenever I upload a new video. And if you have any question or if you struggle, just let me know. I will do my best in order to help you. Make sure you, you use the time wisely and you spend time trying to make the tools work for you. So before the semester starts, we will have two weeks and this is the, the weeks you can use in order to make your computer work with Linux, install Linux there, try to back up your data before you do it because it's very likely that you will struggle. Go through this tutorial, try to install everything that is on the wiki I mentioned and then make sure you, you know what you're doing and then that you have the tools installed. Okay, hope you enjoy this and if you have any questions, just let me know.